Hello viewers, welcome to our new video. Before going to the main topic, I would like to say like this video and please subscribe to the channel. Little People Big World fans recently took to social media to ruthlessly blast Tori Roloff for her latest money grab, which included using her children. So, what did Tori do that his fans so upset? Little People Big World Tori Roloff promotes herself as a mom influencer. Particularly since Zach Roloff and Tori Roloff quit filming Little People Big World after season 25, viewers may wonder how someone like Tori still makes money without future TLC checks rolling in. One of the ways she makes extra bucks is by being a mom influencer on social media. With over 2.1M followers on Instagram, that is a lot of eyeballs on everything that Tori shares on the popular social media platform. However, this is not just eyeballs on content, but also a revenue stream that Tori can continually tap into to make a quick buck. Because Tori Roloff has such a massive social media following, she regularly uses it to promote products, as well as to enter into different partnerships with various brands. When you have as many followers as a lot of mainstream celebrities, it makes sense from a financial standpoint for Tori to take advantage of it. In the latest money grab, Tori Roloff promoted a brand of vitamins called Mary Ruth's. The company offers vitamins and gummies, including for children ages 4 to 12. Along with including the company link in a recent Instagram story, Tori Roloff told her followers, My kids beg for the vitamins every single morning. Reality television fans expect the cast members they follow to try to make a buck by leveraging their social media. This is a well-known practice that everyone does. However, when it comes to Tori Roloff and her recent money grab, many Little People Big World fans are taking issue with the shameless way the mother of three plugged her kids into it to make money. Many also took issue with what they felt was a blatant lie from Tori to boot, as most commoners cannot imagine that her kids beg for the vitamin every morning. While Tori is doing her part to keep that revenue stream producing, in this instance, many agree that she took things a little too far. One Little People Big World commenter said, get a job, stop pimping your kids. Remember when she bragged about being a teacher? Another person said, nah. She just wants the commission. A third commenter added, her entire Instagram is a series of ads. She's gotta pay the rent, I guess, since Zach have never worked a day in his life, and she hasn't either for the majority of hers. The Roloff family farm ownership is in dispute, with Matt not selling to his kids and leaving it to his ex-wife in his will. Zach Roloff claims his father is manipulating the situation to boost little people, big world ratings, leading to family feuds over the farm. Matt Roloff considered short-term rentals on the property, indicating uncertainty about the farm's future ownership. Little People, Big World star Matt Roloff has feuded with his own sons over who owns the family farm featured in the 25 seasons of their hit TLC show. On top of not allowing the sale of the farm to go to one of his eldest sons, Matt also left the farm to his ex-wife in his will rather than any of his kids. Zach Roloff is upset with his father over the lack of sale to a member of their family and claims that his father is not accurately representing their disagreement. He asserts that his father is manipulating the situation to boost the ratings of the show. So, what is the truth about the Roloff family farm? Who owns it and why are the Roloffs feuding? One of Matt Roloff's eldest sons, Zach Roloff, says that his father is not painting an accurate picture of what went down in regard to ownership of the farm. Zach claims that his dad put the property up for sale ahead of season 23, so he could get higher ratings for little people, big world. At the beginning of season 23, Zach was negotiating the purchase of 30 acres of the farm with his father. However, those negotiations fell apart. Zach's mother, Amy, was supportive of Zach purchasing that amount of land, but she didn't want to interfere between her son and her ex-husband.